Kia ora, my name's Ariana Te Omarere, and I'm here uh, at the Marae as uh, a masseuse helping um, Maui and Susan uh, and the creative people that they have here do their best work. I'm from Otaki uh, and my association with Ria Kohu comes through my knowing Susan or Pinky as I like to call her. Uh, I knew her for a long time before I knew Maui and um, she actually brought Maui to me for a massage, that was the first time that I met him and through that meeting uh, he was kind enough to share the story of um, the Moriori in the Chatham Islands and it developed a great curiosity in me to know more. And then I was lucky enough in 2011 that uh, Susan asked me to come here and uh, I think I was meant to be a presenter but I got here and I saw that there were a lot of people who weren't feeling peaceful and I felt it would be really helpful if I was to massage them and make them feel more peaceful. So that's how it sort of developed. And. Um, you know, Susan and I always keep in contact with each other, but she is always so busy and uh, she gets to know you when she needs you. And she needed me for this hui here to do what I did in 2011. And that's what I've been doing here. I haven't taken part in a lot of things um, because I'm a bit of a workaholic once I get started and I don't really want to leave that alone. <laughs> Once you get me in the massage room, it's, I'm very reluctant to come out again. But, you know, the people here, it's a wonderful gathering. Uh, very creative people and heart people. It's not coming from here. It's coming from here to here. Which gives you a very rounded uh, and holistic view and feeling about what's actually taking place here because we are in absolutely pristine and incredibly beautiful surroundings. Oh, this, a, a strong sense of magic in the people that come from this land. And I feel that their story, uh, their story evokes that feeling within you. It's been such a long, hard turmoil that they've been through, but here they are really intact in themselves and the feelings that they have for each other in their land. And that's a wonderful thing to be lucky enough to be part of. And when I came here in 2011, I came down the steps of the plane and all those little people that, all those little drawings that are on those um, trees were all actually dancing and sparkling all around the plane. And uh, they followed me uh, back to where we were staying and they were with me virtually the whole time I was here, day and night in the bathroom you know, in the shower, in the toilet, massaging people, they just, they just stayed around me. And I, I accept that, because when you're dealing with the energy, you, you see all sorts of things and you just accept it. Um, I felt a sense of magic. I felt that they'd chosen me and bought something out of me which had been there but latent, and reconnected me with the elemental um, self you know, bark, tree, water, sky, earth, that, that sort of thing. The first thing that you notice about creative people, and it's full of creative people here, is that they have tremendous energy, but they're also quite vulnerable because you need to be open, to, you need to be open to the elements to allow your creativity to flow. And a lot of them have come here, they've been doing really, really hard work. They haven't um, looked after themselves, as most of us don't, and so they're not really um, effective as they could be. So as a healer, you want to uh, help them performing at, you know, 120% is really good. And I feel that um, that's taken place here because I seem to have invisible support. Uh, I'm able to work really long hours and see you know, 10, 12 people a day, and I don't feel tired. I, I actually, I feel really privileged and joyful. And uh, so there's a great spirit here that nurtures healing. 
yeah, and um, maybe, you know, maybe I came here, maybe Maui and Susan asked me to come here to uh, regenerate that healing that's in the land and in the landscape anyway. I feel it's not actually up to me about coming back here. I feel that the land's got a hold of me in some way. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, like land is, land's quite ruthless and it uses you for its own, own means. So I feel that I've sort of been tapped on the shoulder, as it was. And, you know, I'll probably be coming back here so I can't massage any longer.